president uh, and other dignitaries of the dais, uh, again, honorable principal, group director, faculty members, uh, dear parents and beloved students, a very good morning all. Good morning. Okay, I was told that the students of St. Martins are very energetic, but I don't see that energy coming up. Good morning. It's actually good afternoon, it seems like. Good afternoon. No energy. Great. First of all, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Santosh and as well as Vijay. They both have set a benchmark by addressing you all. Now it has to be like, I have to pull my socks up to cope up to their expectations and to deliver a great speech. I'll try my level best to do that. And that was a wonderful storytelling experience, Dr. Santosh. I think I got inspired. I think a moment I was realizing I was on the other side. Thank you for that. And of course, Vijay is a great speaker. I know him. Uh, again, uh, with his experience and knowledge and wisdom, he's given you an insightful uh, meaning to you all today to what you have to go through. I, as said, would try my level best to keep up and as well to live up to the expectations of the room. Right? So with that, before you know, I begin, I, uh, I've been a public speaker for close to eight years now and I've been traveling across the country to deliver guest lectures, be part in, uh, you know, valedictory speeches, graduation ceremonies and many other events which happens across. And this is the habit, I have actually have this habit of conducting an activity to engage my audience and it is quite important for me to feel that yes, I'm connected with my audience. So I'm going to do the same here. The activity is very simple. I may use this word hi anywhere in the presentation during my speech. You have to keenly observe when I'm using this word hi. The moment I say hi, we should all revert hello, which means yes, we are on the same page, we are actively listening to each other. Is that good? Can I have a quick test? Hi? Hello. Hi? Hello. Hi? Hello. Okay. A delicious meal is waiting for you outside after this event. So I want you to be more energetic so you can drain all the energy now and have a subscriptious meal outside. Right? Hi? Hello. Hi? Hello? Hi. Smart students, right? Good. So with that, once again, thank you so much to the team of uh, St. Martins for uh, you know having us here. I feel super elated to be a part of this event. Why? Because I'm happy to take part in the happiest event or in the happiest day of your lives. I'm sure that you've been waiting for this particular day for you, for you, you know, to see yourself to getting graduated, holding an offer from a company, waiting to start your career in the corporate life. And yes, especially sharing these adorable memories and cherishable moments with your families and friends. So this day is definitely going to be a very special day. And looking at you all, it remembers my olden days where I was on the other side. Similarly, was waiting with my parents to get my offer letter from the college, having the graduation day and placement day. So it definitely is a very amazing feeling that you would definitely be all going through. And I can very much take part, uh, you know, happily as I'm going to be part of your happiest day of your life. So on that note, a very congratulations to each and every student who grabbed an amazing offer. While my conversations with your you know, uh, leadership team and as well as your director, I very much understood that the college has really put in a lot of efforts and as very few colleges in the country are actually student-centric. They're thinking for the students to take some initiatives, to drive something where the students can achieve something, taking go beyond beyond the responsibilities, they're way you know, beyond the margin and then trying to bring the best to you. At the end of the day, they want to make sure that they are students of flying. What are they getting out of it? Actually nothing. It's just a satisfaction. Why should they really do it? Why should they bring in companies that are offering 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 50 lakhs? Why? Because to make yourself see in that position and that is another thing that you know they're dreaming to achieve. And it is something that we really have to be grateful for that. And that's a wonderful team that you know your team, your college has got. So you should appreciate with a round of applause for the team that has got you placed with amazing offers, with amazing opportunities and wonderful companies that you are holding offers from. Right? So thank you so much, uh, you know, uh, the team of uh, St. Martins for having us here, uh, again, to be a part of this event. And before I begin, as they clearly expected, uh, I'm very sure that you've all been waiting curiously to get your offers. I will not take much of your time. Uh, keep it as short as possible. Hi? Hello. Hi? Hello. Right. So I understand that you've all got your offers now, probably would have joined in a corporate company, waiting for your career to get begin, or even would have already accelerated your career path towards the corporate, right? And it is quite important for you all to know certain things. And I'm going to end off my speech today with just an important tip or a lesson that you should all know. Well, before this, let me ask you this question. How many of you in this room uh, know about Mark Zuckerberg? Do you know Mark Zuckerberg? Who is he? Raise your hands. The students. I don't expect parents to know, but still students. How many of you know Mark Zuckerberg? Who is he? 
Great, Jeff Bezos. Amazon, good. Again, Indra Nui. Who is Indra Nui? She's one of the powerful women leaders in the country. Not in the country, the world, in fact. Okay, you have to go Google about her after this speech. Indra Nui, again, how many of you know Ratan Tata in this room? All of you, mostly. What is common among these people, all these people as they are very successful in their career is exactly the what. And these people have done something, as I told, there's an important lesson I'm going to share, have gone through this. If you read their autobiographies, if you see their interviews, they have mentioned this very clearly that I did this to become successful in my life, to become successful in my career. And exactly is the thing that I'm going to share today. You may think that, is it really possible? Yes, it is. And you would not believe, even I have incorporated those lessons in my life. Again, as Vijay rightly started, uh, you would definitely be able to not see yourself in a comparative position of, okay, here I am with this package and somebody's another package, but you can definitely reach up to that level to become more successful in your life. And as I said, I started my career in a way level. At least Vijay started his career a long, long back. I don't recommend, I mean, I'm not trying to imply he's old. But I'm trying to imply that he has much experience in the system has started his career long back. But me, I've started my career ago, somewhere about like close to eight years ago. And my salary when I started my career was not more than 10,000 per month. And from that level to a level right now, I am again working with, started my career with a startup, which probably people do not know. And now I'm working with a company which is globally in 67 countries having its presence across uh, the world and as well as with a revenue trillion target of one trillion revenue uh, you know, per uh, annum. And again, I'm working in a bigger space as heading the uh, you know country, as a senior country head for a company like BP. And I incorporated all these in my life, and I utilized all those learnings when I learned from all that, and then I'm at this position. Is exactly what I'm going to tell you today. And this lesson is not really going to helpful if you just practice it for one day. You cannot see it's in a short-term benefit. You do this today and tomorrow you expect the result? No. It comes by practicing for days and weeks and months. And if you're really super interested to know that secret and incorporate it in your life, I can surely say most of you will be in such a stage again in a short period of time to see yourself in a successful position, right? Now, if we talk about all those people who I've listed, one common thing among all of these are they are the ones who inspire us, isn't it? Are they not inspiring people? Hi? Hi? All these people are inspiring, isn't it? Also, look at the people who are very tenured at the stage who have done to this level, maybe a chairperson, your president. They've done a certain amount of hard work and exactly the same thing that you also have done. Four years of hardships in terms of not only studying engineering, but also equipping yourself with lots of other skills to crack an interview of a big company like this, and as well, making sure that you grow your skills and personality alongside your study engineering. So you've definitely done some sort of hard work to reach up to this point. But again, as the state said, it is not just its ending here. Your real life begins from here on. What all you've learned so far in the life, in the college, has been fine to get you a job now, but the real learning, the real race begins here. What you're going to do or what you're going to learn for the next few years is dependent on the rest of the few days of your life. And what you've got right now in hand is exactly the job offer is the key to the rest of your life. It is going to completely transform your life to the other way because this will not only you know, make you, uh, you know, live economically stable but also interpersonally stable. And that is what you've got in your hand, an amazing opportunity to transform your lives and it lies in your hands. So let's talk about this as this word inspire has itself a big meaning to attach to it, right? And we're going to decode each letter of this word and going to learn what is it today, right? With that, I'm going to end my speech. So what's the first letter of the word inspire? Hi? Hello. Hi? Hello. The last row. Hi? Hello. Great. What's the first letter of the word inspire? I. I stands for incorporate goals in your daily life. Right? How many of you in this room have goals? Sir, I have this goal. It can be anything. Buying a house, buying a car, working in a big company, you know, working in a dream company, getting married to a lovable partner. This can be anything. Right? So, I think I can see all guys laughing the moment I say about marriage. Right? You're waiting there. Okay, the, um, the, the stage is going to come soon, right? Yes, raise your hands. How many of you have goals in your life? So this is my ambition, this is where I want to become. Raise your hands. Nobody else in this room has got goals? That's surprising. Very few students have goals. Even a smaller wish is a goal. Okay, I can see few students raising their hands that you have goals. Now I'll ask you this question. How many of you have raised the hands that yes sir, I have a goal, have a clear plan of how to achieve that goal? 
Now raise the hands. See, the numbers significantly dropped. We all have goals. I want to become the richest person. I want to do this. I want to do that. But do we have a solid plan to achieve our goal? That's exactly where we lack. That's the very first step that we have to learn from all those inspiring leaders. They do not only have goals, but also have a clear plan of how to achieve the goals. A big example, since you are a millennial, I try to explain everything in the millennial language. How many of you have seen Money Heist in Netflix? See, every hand is raising. Great. What does the professor do? The professor doesn't only have plan, doesn't only have the goal, but also has got a clear plan of how to reach that goal. Step-by-step plan, step-by-step process of how to reach that goal. This exactly will take you to achieve your goals. So right from now, after reaching the house, think what you should want to achieve for the next five years. Make that as your bigger goal. Categorize into smaller goals, step-by-step process. By achieving your smaller goals, you will be able to reach up to that level. And that is how I even practiced it and it's happening. Be it anything, the, the first iPhone I bought, the first home I bought, the first car I bought, everything. That is how I step by step plan my goal and I achieve every step that reaches to me, you know, I achieve my bigger goal. So please understand goals will take you or will make you a worthy person in your life. That's the first letter, right? What's the second letter? N. N stands for never be afraid of challenges. In your life, you will come across situations which will probably demotivate you, discourage you, puts you down, will make you an unworthy or feel like an unworthy person. But never be afraid of any challenges. Whenever you see a challenge, please take care of it. Please, you know, fulfill it and do it because that challenge will make you the most smartest person in the room. The more you challenge yourself, the more you enter challenges, you, 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 do, you involve in challenges, that makes you the sharpest person in the room, right? So never be afraid of challenges is the most important lesson. And again, compare it with all the leaders who have listed, they have taken risks in their life, be it personally, be it interpersonally, be it financially, be it business-wise, professionally. When you take challenges, when you learn, when you go through challenges, it makes you the smartest person, right? So never ever be afraid of challenges in your life, right? Hi. Hello. What's the third letter? S. S stands for self-development. That's pretty much covered by Vijay, so I don't want to touch about that. It's about how are you as a person developing your personality? Are you able to learn and learn? As he said, your education has given you a good curriculum, which you could, you know, grab it. That has helped you to grab a job. But again, if you stop learning from here on, you think that I've got an engineering degree, I'm good now for the next 40 years, you're completely wrong. You may be outdated in a few months, as Vijay said. You have to keep learning. Develop your personality. Learn as many skills as possible. Learn as many you know, disciplines as possible. Try to keep yourself updated. Try to be physically fit. Try to be mentally fit. Make sure that you practice and you learn. And as well as you develop your personality in every stage of your life so that you always compete yourself in the market. Right? That's the third, that, that's another letter that you have to learn is self-management or self-development. And you look at all those personalities again, they have disciplined life. They keep learning still. They still undergo certain programs to update themselves. So developing yourself or developing a personality is key to achieve something big in your life. Are we clear? Hi? Hello. Right. What's the next letter? P. P is the most important thing we forget. When I was having my discussion with, you know, the professor who was on the stage, he was asking me, you know, how did you reach this stage? And, you know, do you realize, when, when, when did you have this realization? Is that the passion I'm talking about? P stands for passion. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the race of, you know, achieving our goals, we somehow miss or lack what exactly we like about. So never, ever stop or miss your passion. You would definitely be passionate of doing something. It can be traveling, it can be cooking, it can be anything. For me, passion has a set of things to do, right? So always follow your passion. That will keep you a live person. In your life, even if you grow to a bigger height, you will never get bored, you'll never have that thing, which I have realized on a later level, right? So never miss your passion. Always follow your passion. Passion will always make you a alive person, which makes you feel, yes, I have to do things more, I have to do things more. And that is how it brings you, uh, you know, a level above in your personality, right? What's the next letter? What's the next letter? I. I again stands for uh, inculcate networking. How many of you in this room have a LinkedIn profile? Okay, don't, don't drop your hands, raise your hands. How many of you in this room have a LinkedIn profile? How many of you at least Use LinkedIn for half an hour a day. Again, the hands drop. How many of you in this room have Instagram profile or Facebook profile? I don't lie, huh? I know. I know the answers. 
Raise your hands. How many of you in this room have a TV? Right? So ready for change is an important aspect. So make sure wherever you go in life, even if you touch 30, 40, 45, 50, don't get yourself so comfortable into one zone. Always make sure that you come out of your comfort zone and be accept to ready for the change. Right? As long as you change yourself and update yourself, you have room in this or you have space in the room and you'll be able to grow further in your life. What's the last letter? Hi? Hi? What's the last letter of the word inspire? E. E stands for enable your gratitude. This is the most important quality that we miss. For all your information, only 18% of, I mean it's not only, 18% of Indian students or Indian children after their class 12 are not able to continue their education. Imagine how lucky you are that you've got not only the engineering degree but also got an opportunity. Again, close to 47% of Indian graduates right after their graduation are unemployed, not able to find jobs. And how lucky you should consider yourself that you've got into a college which gives you 100 crazy placements, right? And that is where you should consider every moment as a blissful moment and a moment of gratitude. And to practice gratitude, I have a small activity for you. Can I have all the students stand up? The people who are getting the offers today, all the students, stand up. Stand up and if you to study, you have never, never been able to graduate. And also, this is the college which has given you the platform to also grab wonderful offers that you hold in hand. And it is exactly because of the platform. So look at your teachers and again touch your heart and say thank you on account of three, two, one. Thank you. Again, not able to hear. Three, two, one. Thank you. There should not be any shy in telling thank you. It should come from the heart. Right? The last people, of course, you know, the parents, we're nothing in front of them. We're nothing we have, you know, you know, if they are not there, we would have definitely not been to this point. They work their level best to get, give you the best. You may think, you may compare with other students, he's the better college, he's doing this, he's an iPhone, why not me? Never ever compare, as Vijay said, because they have tried their level best to give you your best. Three, two, one. Please be seated. And this practice is something not possible moments, have fun, but at the same time, do not forget to step off your goals and especially start, uh, do not stop being you know, grateful to your life. These two things will make you a worthy person in life. With that, uh, once again, wishing you all the very best and have a happy career ahead with your you know, career journey. And wish you all the best to all your viewers. Thank you so much.